and uh, Laurel Highlands, Forbes State Forest. Heading out on the Laurel Highlands hiking trail. First time back on, out on trail in over four weeks since the ankle injury. Um, still, it's still healing, so I'm gonna take it easy today. Um, I'm parked here at the Route 31 uh, parking lot. I'm just hiking into the Route 31 shelters, meeting some friends of mine. They got two different groups coming in from different directions, so uh, I'm just gonna go in and camp with them tonight. I didn't wanna try to push it and do the whole hike with them. Um, so I should have about maybe two miles tops to the uh, shelters. All right, I, this, this is the heart of uh, deer hunting season, so I got all this uh, uh, safety colors on. And uh, temperatures are right around, it's about 45 degrees when I parked the car. Uh, tonight's supposed to get down into the upper 20s, but uh, I'll be staying in the shelters. So we, uh, these shelters are, are nice up here. Uh, they have the built-in uh, built chimneys, so we'll be able to close off the doors. Um, I'm going to be uh, staying in the shelter with Mr. Wednesday. He's, and I, I think they stayed out last night, so he has uh, some doors with him for the shelters. And like I said, I'm taking things easy on this. Uh, I'm not trying to push too many miles, but I did uh, do some walking this past week at work. Uh, the one guy I work with, uh, he had one of those pedometers, and he measured us at doing uh, walking seven miles one day at work. So it should be not a problem except for this is all uh leaves leaf covered rocks so i just got to be careful where i'm walking as far as the weather it's pretty much like almost zero percent chance of rain so i'm taking a chance that it's not going to rain and i have no rain gear with me but uh yeah there's not a cloud in the sky really Nice day for a hook. Right, I'm about a mile into things, moving at 2.8 miles per hour. It's Route 31. And I believe I heard somewhere before that you could see this top of the steel building in downtown Pittsburgh from here, but I don't see it yet. No, I'm not seeing it. All right, standing on the county line. And uh, when I came up here, I drove up this little road here and uh, dropped off my cooler right over here. <laughs> so I gotta go. It's right in that pit right there. So I don't have to carry that any further than I had to. figure out how to get back in here. All right, I gotta be extremely careful here because I remember I wiped out here last time. That right there, I thought it was dirt. So I started going down and it turned out it was a rock and I, I hit the ground on there. So I'm taking a different way this time. All right, 1.6 miles, coming into camp now. Uh, so I saw somebody over there, somebody's wearing an orange shirt. And somebody's already collected firewood for this shelter. I just left it for the next person. So last I saw, there was 10 other people supposed to be coming. I know uh, Smokey, uh, Daisy, and then, uh, Scarecrow, and then, uh, Dorothy. And uh, I'm not sure who else is coming. I think I'm going over to either shelter one or two. That's what you told me to head to. All right, so we got scarecrows working on the fire here. <laughs> this is always always an interesting uh, watching him make a fire. <laughs> Nobody built one like that. <laughs> Here's our. This is going to be our community hangout. This is really nice fire. Uh, we got all these uh, logs to sit on here. And uh, so let me see how many people we got here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think there's 10 of us plus two dogs. 
Okay, here's the second step of the process is to get all these dry leaves to fill it up. Make sure to break these off. Bigger though. I made them too short. So this is going to be Scarecrow side. That's going to be Mr. Wednesday side. You see who's, who's got the better, better uh, fire building. smart when you can. Is it, it's, is it it's the wind. It's, no, it the wind. Oh, yeah. Wow. Well, oh. Really. I just, I just want to get it going and not freaking mess around. Why don't you light it closer to the fire? All right. So Mike's going with the burning the fat wood method. You know, I've got a cook stove we can light that thing up with. <laughs> Bill knows all about that stuff. Don't burn a hole in your puppy dump. Did you use a fire starter or no? No, it's Huh? Natural. Natural? Natural. Yeah. No, it's, I brought it. I wasn't messing around. I didn't know what condition the wood would be in, and we surely didn't want to be cold this weekend. That's for damn sure. You got some Vaseline cotton balls I saw over there. I do, but I didn't. I didn't bring them. I didn't bring them over. Oh, so you treated the wood? No, it's it's um, resin from pine, pine re um, the stumps. So far, Mike's winning the contest, the fire starting contest here. Hey, hey. <laughs> he used uh, he used resin, so I'm gonna get my fire starter too. <laughs> I just splitting this way better. Yeah, that's, way better. Oh, <laughs> that's a thing now, right? Yeah. Especially if you get in a bunch of cicadas or something. Yeah, I got way too close to five rattlesnakes this year. Five. <laughs> yeah. so Bill has gone with the Dura Flame starter. It's a it works. Yeah, it feels like maybe it's coming from over in this direction. It's changed yeah. a lot of different times, so. Yeah. It hasn't changed. Right, we got Mike, Mike bringing out the big guns at the pocket bonus. He's just full of hot air, that's all. Oh. Update on the fire. And <laughs> that. <laughs> All right, this is the fire that we have going inside our shelter. It's only like quarter after eight, way too early to, to call it a night, but yeah, we'll see what happens. All right, it's about eight o'clock in the morning, and uh, here's the uh, remains of fire pit from last night. And uh, this is over here in shelter number two. So these are the doors and if, uh, if anybody's wondering, uh, these are Tyvek sheets about eight foot by four foot, maybe five foot. And uh, right here we got this side just tied down with a log. But, um, it got down to 30 degrees in here last night and I, I did not think it was gonna get that low. So I did not put my water filter in my bag with me. So hopefully uh, it's not 
damaged. But uh, already got everything mostly packed up. Uh, Sandy and um, Mary Jo are up in that uh, first first cabin over there. It's uh, Bill and Gwen. Somebody is uh, in a hammock up by five, and uh, another guy is in a tent over there on the tent pad. And the thing with these these shelters, they have these built-in uh, chimneys. And uh, the only ones that I know of that are like this are on the Laurel Highlands and um, in Oil Creek State Park. So they have these uh, eye hooks for them like that. And uh, the trick is to take some, uh, take a, a rock and make a grommet out of it like that. And just tie your, uh, tie your line like, like that. Okay, so the way that this, uh, this site here this is a route 31 uh, shelter area <clears throat> the way this is set up is there's like the central area there's the bathrooms the wood pile water pump uh and there's an access road over there now there's a uh, tent pad over there uh shelter five is up on the hill three and four are over there and then you come across this dry creek bed at least it's dry now here's one and two over here so um that uh and this is where we had the big community fire over here last night and there so that access road is how they bring the firewood up here in park rangers um did come up here again last night to check our reservations they didn't come over here but uh somebody just gave them our names and stuff uh, somebody that was over there on, on that side um so yeah they didn't uh, they didn't come check us but they were here all right, nine o'clock, heading out of camp. Headed back down south, and it's uh, 40 degrees right now. This is uh, very close to Hidden Valley Ski Resort, but uh, right over there, I don't know if you can tell, uh, see it through the woods over there. Um, I believe that is a stone quarry, and uh, fortunately today is Sunday, so they're not really doing much over there. The last time I stayed at these shelters, it was, uh, I mean, I heard about this this Route 31 shelters before that uh, you'll be woken up before the sun comes up with the trucks with the backing up beeping stuff so yeah certain certain days it could be pretty noisy at this campsite Route 31 campsite something to keep in mind well I just walked off the main trail to see where this little side trail went to and it's uh, Red Blaze is over here I believe this is probably a snowmobile uh, trail okay so there's this one off to the side and there's this one here let's check this out so this just comes out on the fire tower road let's see where the other side goes yep going to the red place this one just all right back at the parking lot i got 1.84 miles it is 33 degrees right now and uh the total elevation gain for today was 326 feet so uh yeah it felt like i was going up uphill more today than i was yesterday so um, yesterday i probably had negative elevation gain. all right well it's getting cold out here so i'm gonna hit the road uh i don't even feel like mcdonald's right now i think it's just too early but uh yeah that's a wrap for this one thanks for watching